So here's the solution to the logarithm question that I posted on my Instagram. Let's have a look. We know log base 3 of a is equal to 10, and log base 3 of b is equal to 15. And we are going to find out log base 3 of a plus b, this is instead of the log, is between of which two numbers. If you haven't tried this already, go ahead and pause the video now, try it first, and let me know what you have. Done? OK. I'm going to start with turning this into the exponential form. From log base 3 of a being 10, we can just do 3 to this power and 3 to that power. This and that will cancel. So we can say a is equal to 3 to the 10th power. Similarly, I will also do the same thing for log base 3 of b equals 15. Do 3 to this power, 3 to that power, this and that cancel. So b is equal to 3 to the 15th power. And then I can just plug in a and b into this expression and try to figure out how big that is going to be. So log base 3 of a plus b, this right here will be equal to log base 3 of a is that, which is 3 to the 10. And then we add b is this, which is 3 to the 15th. Good. Now you might be wondering, are we going to just work this out and then compute it? No, because this is just an approximation question. If you want to work it out, go ahead and be my guest. I'm not going to stop you, but this is what we are going to do. 3 to the 10th plus 3 to the 15th, we can factor out 3 to the 10th. So this right here equals log base 3 of factoring out 3 to the 10th. Then we multiply this with the first term will just become 1. And for the second term, you can just do 3 to the 15th divided by 3 to the 10th. You just subtract your power, so you will have 3 to the 5th. And the reason that we do this is because now we have a log of a product, right, this times that, we can break it apart as a sum. So this will become log base 3 of the first, which is 3 to the 10. And then we are going to add, right, it's just going to be a sum of two logs. Another log, and then this is still base 3, and then the second term, which is 1 plus 3 to the fifth, just like that. Now for the first one, this right here is exactly equal to 10 because they cancel. And for the second one right here, you can see ah, the one is kind of bothering us, right? 1 plus 3 to the fifth. If we don't have the 1, we can just cancel out the log base 3 and then the 3. Good. But 3 to the fifth is a pretty big number. When you add 1 to it, the 1 doesn't really matter. You know, this right here will be approximately, just like ignoring the 1, you'll get like 5 point something, right? A little bit bigger than 5. Yeah. So, in fact, when you have 10 plus something that's approximately equal to 5, you can say this is approximately equal to 15 something. So therefore, the best answer will be A, 15 to 16. So now you might be wondering, how come this is just approximately 5 point something? How come this cannot be 6 point something, right? Well, the deal is because of the inside. Here is a note. Have a look. If we have 1 plus 3 to the 5th, this right here, I will tell you, this is certainly less than 3 to the 6th. And of course, you can do more algebra or do more computation to figure it out. One thing to do is you can just make a comparison right here. 1 plus 3 to the 5th, this right here is for sure less than, let's say, let's do this, okay? Let's say we do um, 3 to the 5th plus 3 to the 5th plus 3 to the 5th. This is certainly more believable, yeah? 1 is less than this, and then this is the same as that. Why did I put this down? Because this is equal to, this is equal to 3 of the 3 to the 5th which is the same as 3 to the 6. So for sure, <laughs> this guy is less than 3 to the 6, so that means the log of that is about 5 point something, which is less than 6. That's why the answer cannot be B. That's it.